Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Here is the foundry as it sits. It has already been fired up and now we're going to try another firing. This time we're going to be making a brass cymbal. And that's with the fan off. All right, now because the crucible is still protruding until the charcoal melts down, I'm gonna use this rotor from a truck to try to cover it. Gent. Whoo, it's hot already. All right, that'll give enough room to air out but stay hot. So, let's see how that works. There we go. Not have been good in there. Could have been, I, don't think, I don't think it would have exploded or what would have happened, but always safer not have them in there. All right, using a uh, stainless steel bar shaker, Tom, we just to pour the uh, brass in to the crystal. Turn off the air for just a moment. Oh, that thing is glowing red. Man, it is, it is glowing. Now, I didn't want to do this, but I guess I have to. The uh, crucible. Oh, it's hot in there. I need the crucible lifting tongs. Remember these bad boys from another episode? Problem is, Crucible is now set the whole thing on fire pretty much. I had to get all that out of there. Oh wow, that thing is hot. Who is hot? Set it down right there for a moment. Add in a bit more charcoal. It wasn't doing bad before, now that it's a little bit melted. Right, so I hope everybody learned why you don't want to use a plastic pot for your crucible, I mean for your foundry. Yeah, it's simple and easy, but you do run the risk of melting the whole damn thing. I'll go ahead and add them in now. I don't know if y'all see those weird colors coming out of there, but it's like green, white.
made this little thing right here to add some more safety and distance. I decided to turn the rotor over to maximize the inside of the machine. hard to get the shot but there you can see there's grass shells melting inside of there. You see them? Melting really nice things like red hot person. Needs more charcoal. I don't know if it's just not hot enough because the lid's leaking too much or because I don't have borax, but it's not melting the way I want it to. It's turning into like a piece of powder, but it's not turning into liquid. So, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's almost like a, a weird version of Play Doh. It's like, it's not, turning, it's not melting, but it's. Last chance to see what happened after this. Here it is, the last ditch effort. <laughs> Using a prime pen. It's a makeshift lid. Oh, I guess that's another one down. 
pan. They don't make frying pans like they used to. So you've been following along, I ran out of charcoal, so I've been using wood to burn this. This is a completely wood-fed fire. Just pieces of plywood, two by fours, whatever I had handy. The foundry is starting to fall apart now, so I'm just doing you know, whatever, having fun with it. And there goes the lake. having a real anvil would come in handy. 